So check out what I brought back from my internship. So cleaning baskets in the rainforest exhibit, I found these feathers. So I brought them home and I got a frame for them from Marshalls and framed them. So I know it's kind of gross. They'd probably frown upon it if they knew that I did that. But I thought it was kind of cool. Here's this exotic bird from the rainforest and now I have its feathers framed in my room. What's up and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome. My name is Zoe and I usually talk about reptiles. Today I'm going to go more of the zookeeper route for this video. Um, this is a video that I've been wanting to do. I've also wanted to do a blog post for this on my blog. I've kind of neglected my blog since YouTube started but what are you going to do? So for today's video I wanted to talk to you guys about some of my favorite brands that give back to animals and conservation. You get cute clothes and they benefit animals and the environment. So, win-win. So the first company I want to start out with is SandCloud. A lot of you have probably heard of SandCloud. They're pretty well known for their towels, but they also do a lot of apparel too. Um, I think some jewelry, but they've got really cute stuff, really cute designs. They're constantly updating and adding more. And I'm wearing my SandCloud shirt today for this video. So SandCloud gives 10% of their profits back to saving marine wildlife. If you follow them on Instagram, you'll see on their stories they're constantly posting videos at different institutions or organizations that are working to save marine animals. They're pretty well known for their towels, but they also have clothing and accessories and they always have some good stuff on sale. So this is kind of new as they have recycled clothing, so it's stuff made from recycled materials. They support nonprofits like the Marine Conservation Institute, the Surf Rider Foundation, the Pacific Marine Mammal Center, so lots of places that help save marine mammals or just marine wildlife. And I'm actually an ambassador for SandCloud, so if you go on their website and use my code ZOEA25, you will save 25% on your order, which is kind of a lot and takes a good chunk off of it because a lot of these companies are more expensive, but it helps give more money to these organizations and back to the animals. So you can save 25%. Um, I'll put my code in the description below as well as my referral link so you can just click the link and it'll just take you right to the website you don't have to do anything else other than shop and buy whatever you're gonna buy or you can just use the code and when you go to check out you put in the code so you save 25% and I forget how many points I get but I just get points that I can eventually use towards a purchase but super beneficial for anyone looking to go and buy cute clothing or accessories and want to give back to the environment at the same time. So the next company on my list is Ivory Ella. Ivory Ella I didn't get into until past year maybe. Um, it became pretty popular when I was in high school but I didn't know what it was so I thought it was just kind of a new trend that girls were getting into so I kind of avoided it because I wasn't one to get into these trends. Um, it wasn't until I went to college for zookeeping and my cousins and aunt and uncle actually got me an Ivory Ella shirt for Christmas that I kind of understood what it was. And now I'm a huge supporter. So Ivory Ella is a company that gives back to elephants. So same as SandCloud, 10% of their profits go to organizations, but in this case for elephants. So to date, they have donated over $1.6 million to Save the Elephants, which is a nonprofit foundation, as well as other charitable causes. They 
also have super cute clothes like tops um they have shorts joggers they also do uh, like bathing suit cover-ups um they now pop sockets that's a big thing i guess now hats drinkware jewelry so they always just have like a lot of super super cute stuff a lot of holiday geared items sport geared items so for those of you who don't know, I am a figure skater, so I do have a skating shirt from Ivory Ella. Next up is a company that I actually haven't gotten anything from yet, but I really, really want to. So this company plants 10 trees for every item sold, and they have a lot of cool stuff. It's like very trendy, now kind of adventure-y. Um, I really, really want this hoodie, like really, really bad. So just to give you guys an idea of how amazing this company is, when I was just writing down my notes before starting this video, starting to record, they had on their website that they had planted currently 21,153,660 trees. I just wrote that down 10 minutes ago. Their website has now updated. And there are 21,150,940 trees. So within the last 10-15 minutes, they have gone up almost 300 trees. So that is pretty amazing. So their goal is to hit 1 billion trees by 2030. I would say they're on a pretty good track to doing that. So another thing I really really like about this company is that the materials that they use are sustainable. So they're just all around an eco-friendly company. They plant trees, they use sustainable materials. What's not to love here? So up next is a new favorite of mine. I actually found this company last summer. Um, I've only bought one thing from them and it wasn't for me. But I have a long list of things I want from them. I keep putting it on my Christmas list and my birthday list and I haven't gotten anything yet. So I just keep meaning to save up to get stuff myself. But it's called Animals Anonymous and it was started by a former zookeeper. So obviously I fell in love with this company. What I really like is that the lady that does this, she targets many, many, many different animals. So animals you'd never ever see on a shirt. Like she used to have near cat shirts and I still want one to this day just oh my gosh so awesome she has kind of like whale shark stuff um I'm trying to remember what else there was that was new that I wanted but just super 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 awesome stuff so this company actually donates 20 percent of their profits back to nonprofits and conservation efforts so it's no surprise considering a big thing for zoos is conservation so just show you guys some of what they have. Their decals are super popular. A lot of the keepers at the zoo that I work at actually have these on their cars. Okay, so I actually haven't seen this one yet. This must be new and I need it. For those of you that don't know, meerkats are my favorite animal, followed by red pandas. I really want one of these back the zoo ones. She also does these monthly attic packs where every month you get a box in the mail and you don't know what's going to be in it. I believe they're usually geared towards a certain kind of animal each month and there's always a shirt inside and it's just kind of really exciting. It's like Christmas every month for zookeeper or animal lover. So there are clothing designs for women, men, kids. I believe a lot of her stuff is unisex. So a lot of the stuff you see under women you'll also see under men. So here's the whale shark design that I really like. Really want a hoodie. There's just all of this stuff. You've got a palace cat, the viper, it's even a pelican, hellbender. So great place for animal lovers. So the next one I want to talk about isn't a shop anymore. She's just a blogger now, but her blog has a lot of great stuff on it. So the website is called The Tree Kisser. She used to sell a lot of shirts, 
uh, sweatshirts, tank tops, and some of that profit went back to animal rescues or um, organizations supporting animal advocacy issues. She's very, very active in supporting shelters and rescues and fighting for animal rights. And in the about four years that she had her shop up and running, she donated about $50,000. So that's pretty, pretty amazing. Now she just has her blog, but it's all about fashion and food and activism and living her life as a vegan. So she has a lot of recipes. She recently got married and her wedding was all about not using animal related products. So in her blog she has posts that talk about what she did for her wedding, what she used, how to avoid using animal products. So she calls it the Tree Kissers Vegan Wedding Guide. So if you're vegan or you really want to support not using animal products, definitely check this out. A lot of great stuff on here. I know she's posted things in the past like the best vegan wines that she's had, ideas, gift ideas for vegan friends, vegan fashion, just lots of really cool things to check out. The next thing I want to talk about isn't really a company per se, it's Amazon. So Amazon recently came up with this thing called Amazon Smile. So it's the same thing as Amazon, except when you go to Amazon, don't go to Amazon. Go to Amazon Smile. You use the same account, it's all the same stuff, except 0.5% of what you're buying goes to an organization of your choice. So if you go on Amazon Smile, you get to pick your organization. Um, a lot of times you'll find like your local animal rescues. So for my Amazon Smile, I have it set to my Humane Society back home. So you can choose any of the big companies. You can choose your local organizations if they're on there. So it's just like a really cool way to give back without doing anything extra. You are already going to go to Amazon to buy whatever. Just go to Amazon Smile instead. You're still going to buy the same thing, it's just part of that is going to go to your organization that you choose. Second to last, I want to talk about Paisley Tiger. I really, really like this company. Um, they do kind of remind me of Ivory Ella. I think Ivory Ella kind of started the ball rolling. Um, there's been a lot of new companies come up. Paisley Tiger, Shelly Cove, Freedom Reigns I think is another one. Um, I personally keep going back to Paisley Tiger. I really like their designs, I like what they put out, they have good sales. So a percentage of their profit goes to the Big Cat Rescue in Florida. So obviously their mission is to help big cats. They have a lot of cute stuff, short sleeves, long sleeves, tank tops, stickers. So I really like them. Their shirts are super, super comfortable. They have some that are more slim fitting. And then they have some that are more loose fit, really comfy. So I just really, really, really like this company. The final one I want to talk about is another one that I don't have shirts from. But again, I'm planning on getting some. Especially some of their new ones I really like. So this one is called Arm the Animals. And they have a lot towards not only dogs and cats, but also more exotic wildlife type animals. So they kind of hit all ends of the spectrum. So this company is kind of amazing. They've worked with over 100 animal welfare organizations, not only with donation funds from the items that they have sold, but also helping organizations with printing, graphic design, social media advice, and marketing. So they really do more than just here, have the money, use it how you want. They really get involved and want to help these organizations. And what's really awesome too is that they also have products targeting your pets. So they have like pet bandanas for your dogs, which is really, really cool. And they also have clothing for men that's more masculine looking. So you can see they're more of like a men's fit, um, even some that are specifically targeting men, so dog daddy. So lots and lots of cool designs. They've actually added a lot more since the last time I came. 
You can search by animals, so dogs, cats, sea life, wildlife. I'm going to go to wildlife. So they also do a lot of event specific or organization specific ideas and designs. So they have a design targeting Sudan, the rhino. They also have some for Cecil the lion. They have lots of pit bull stuff. So just lots of really cool funky stuff. You just gotta go check it out. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Maybe hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. Also, there's other companies like these that you like that give back to animals, wildlife, conservation, something cool. Leave them in the comments and I will be sure to check them out. I love finding new companies like these. I will literally sit on my bed for hours going through Instagram trying to find these kind of companies. So definitely leave a comment below if you know more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.